Hello, I'm Joey Casco, and this is part two of three of reviews for Leap Sellers out of North Fork, Long Island, New York. I'm reviewing the 2013 Reserve Cabernet Franc tonight. It was really tight at first, so I had to let it sit in the glass for a bit. After five to ten minutes, it was violently aromatic with violets, vanilla, big jammy raspberries, and swirling it open up some more brought out wet wood and breakfast tea. The palette is complex with flavors of blackberry, cranberry, candied strawberry, tea, and nickel. The mouthfeel was weird because it was trying to be smooth, but I could feel the, tar the tannin tearing up my tongue underneath. Uh, and the finish was just, you know, all big tannin too. So I went and got one of my Taste of Purple Vino 2 glasses. That's it right there. There's the box. If you want to see the box. I use this every time I want to... Uh, quote unquote decant something really quick um, so it's rather big it's a big glass but it has this little dent in it and so when you swirl it creates a splash um, so it'll actually open it up uh, quicker than decanting for hours will so I did that and I poured it back into my smaller glass because you know you want to get the right aromatics and everything right so the nose was softer and less jammy and it had more of that cab front character that I loved while still having all that fruit. The palate was smoother and cranberry took over even though all the other fruits were there too. Uh, the mid palate was now silky smooth without the big tannin underneath uh, and while the finish was still hot with tannin but not tongue stripping. So it went from having too much going on too loudly to having the same things going on but with more delicacy and elegance when you really let it open up. It'll cost you 40 bucks, and I give it a rating specifically those of that appreciate Cab Frog of 4 out of 5 for price versus quality. Read the full, full review on thewinestalker.net. Bye-bye.